Hi, this is Manesh Patel with BlackBar.com. Today, I want to focus on how to trade altcoins in crypto. Why am I talking about this? Because there's tons of people getting into a lot of these altcoins. Some of these coins are fake, some of them are good, some of them are pump and dump scenarios, and various different things. A lot of people are getting into crypto now, which is really good. However, you have to know what you're doing because there's so many of them. If you're just trading Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, you know, Bitcoin Cash, Linked, uh, and a couple of other the main ones, that's fine. But if you start getting into all these altcoins, you have to be very, very careful. So today I want to show you exactly how you could take advantage of all these altcoins using the TNT strategy. The TNT is basically a black bar on the chart. It's a forecasting tool that tells you something's going to happen on the next bar. The question is, which way? If you have a green background, you're going to bet on it going up. If you have a red background, you're better going to bet on it going down. If you have no background, now I could go either way. And I'm going to show you exactly how you could trade those too as we move forward with some of these cryptos and so forth. And I'll show you some of the cryptos that have entered and that are trending now so you could see exactly which way some of these cryptos are going right now, which ones are high probability on the TNT strategy. So let's begin and start looking at some charts. Whoops. Okay, so here is my chart here. Let me focus on this. I want to get to here. So these are existing trades that have worked are in process right now that are trending, whatever words you want to choose. There's a black bar here. We got a red shade here. That means we're going to bet on it going down. So a couple of points below that TNT low, the black bar is the entry right there, which is this, uh, this little um, uh, blue dot right there. So that would be our entry. Our conditional stop is right there. And if you zoom out, you'll see there's our target way, way, way at the bottom, way down here. Now, that target's way out there. So, you know, you're looking for it to come down there, but minimum, you're looking for a three to one reward risk ratio on this trade. So if you map this out here with a tool, and I'm just gonna do this here since the target's way out there, we want something that's realistic. There's our entry. There's our conditional stop right there. And you're looking at three to one, which is roughly right there. So you could see in this first week, second week here, we got into three to one. And we even got that very close to that in the first week of the entry, which is right there. Second week, we got a lot more. And slowly it's getting to the ridiculous target. A lot of people think this is crazy, but believe it or not, crazy can happen. So your crazy target, believe it or not, is way down here. So that is right there. So there's ways you could manage this, but either way, you could take some profit as it is. But this is a 2,500 to 25 to 1 reward risk going into this trade right here. Uh, and slowly it's going down. Some people may think it's not gonna get there, but it is slowly getting there. Either way, we've gotten a three to one reward risk ratio. So we've taken some off the table and now we're managing this trade very effectively, okay? So that's one trade that's in there, very active. This is the second week. This is on a, in a trade here. This had a red shade too. So this is a bearish trade. This is the second week that's profitable. This is one, two, second week that's profitable. Now I'm saying second week, why does that matter? First week, we want to be profitable. If we're not, we're going to exit the trade. Second week, we want to be more profitable. If not, we're going to exit the trade. After two weeks of being profitable, we then change our stop to entry so there's no more risk. Okay. When we get to three to one, I always tell people to take 50 to 75% of your positions off and then let the rest ride. So all these positions here, the first three, believe it or not, did get the 300% reward risk. So majority of their positions have been taken off and now we're letting the rest ride, managing the trade, but either way, they're all free, okay, going forward. So here's another one. 
This is uh, more profitable on the second week too. Uh, this is uh, Litecoin uh, LTC USD. That's profitable. That's second week. That's at break even now. This is at break even. This here is profitable. That's at break even. This is at break even. IMX. This is at break even. Near. This is at break even. FTMU is at break even. JTO is at break even. Remember, I have no clue what any of these altcoins are. Really don't care. All I care is following the system. It tells me there's a black bar. It tells me to go on the next one if it fits my criteria. Then there's GT, uh, GRTU, GRTUSD. This is profitable and free now. This is a trade that was this week here, uh, coming into the last week, well, this week. Uh, this did not fit our criteria. There's no shade here. So if there's no shade, you want it to hit the red dot before it breaks the low or high. It did not, so we did not enter that trade. However, we did enter this trade here. It has a red background here. So we did enter this trade here upon uh, USD, whatever that is, I don't care. Either way, it's making me money. First week, I'm profitable, so I stay in for the second week. Now I'll wait for next week. There was another opportunity here. This one didn't fit our criteria, so we never entered at all. This one here is an opportunity for this coming week. There's no shade right now. We'll have to see what happens Monday morning uh, when it opens up. If there's a shade, it's going to tell us exactly which direction. If there's no shade, we've got to wait for the red dot and then break either, touch either the, uh, this blue dot, that blue dot, whichever the first one, we enter that trade. All these here never entered, but they don't have any opportunities They have not entered. So all these are just sitting in limbo right here with no opportunities at all. So this is how you could trade altcoins or crypto with high probability uh, and not sit there and really start gambling, okay? And I know a lot of people are betting on Bitcoin going up. Bitcoin's been holding the support level as you've been seeing from our social media posts. It's consolidating. So that's consolidating. But if you look at these altcoins, if you look at majority of this list, it's bearish. In fact, they're all bearish. I have not found a bullish opportunity as of right now. So a lot of these altcoins are all bearish. And remember, I'm not going in biased at all. Uh, if I see a TNT and it has a green shade, I'm more than happy to go bullish. But right now, the markets are telling me these altcoins want to go down more. And you could see a lot of them have gone down for two weeks and are pretty much a free trade. Um, here is our chat room. Uh, free WhatsApp chat room for the TNT strategy shown at the bottom. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them on the social media post. Also, please po repost uh, the social media so other people can see, like it, and learn too. Thank you.